Hey guys, it's Ike and welcome to the seventh episode of Shadow's House. A little bit of a recap, we saw the introduction to the Garden Labyrinth, we saw a little bit of the third of the third floor lords, we saw what the living dolls chose for their items in order to go search for their Shadow Masters, and we saw two of the Shadow Masters, John and Kate, and and, 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 and yeah, recap's over, let's get started. <laughs> String the opening. Come on, Sean, you're wearing your glasses in the opening. <laughs> that man's skinny as hell. Eileen? Oh, she just makes a little bird. Nice. Wow. Yeah, you think I can read that? They really gotta let you know, you know? Oh, Sean! Come on, my guy. Should've known better. <laughs> Uh, Lou, what did I tell you? <laughs> well, there she goes. She just fucking pops and vanished. Oh, wait, no. Oh, she left her shears here? <laughs> Damn, dude, you fucking... F you fell in the back of your, your head, like... Well, Ricky. Come on, fam. Take a closer look. Oh, Ricky, you are being lead by a leash. But I gotta say, though, it looks like Ricky fell f straight on his back and, like, the back of his head just smacked against the floor like, damn, dude, that's that. That has gotta hurt. <laughs> she has quick reflex. And then she climbed up. It's wild. Did you tie the part? Wait, isn't the knot where her wh where her scar was or where her wounds was? Why did you wrap it like that? <laughs> You're concerned for me. Look, my guy, if you weren't concerned, you wouldn't have wrapped her up. Come on, Ricky. Still love you, my guy. <laughs> He's also in a crate. Look at this fella. Patrick, just use your soon blow up. Man's got claustrophobia. <laughs> oh, man's crying. <laughs> you can see your eye, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I mean, at least Kate's got a pretty nice view, huh? Mm-hmm. 
And you know, a single air hole, it just sounds like it would, um, would be really hard to breathe. <laughs> She's not a sunshine for no reason. Oh, you get a little orange. Oh, oh, she's just fucking dropping it one by one. <laughs> just dropping it on his face. Oh. Oh. Look at you, Patrick. Right. I also really love the whole depiction of when Emily goes looking through the hole, because because he he's he's in total darkness in this cage in this uh, crate, and there is only one place to look up, and that's where the light is coming from. And then you see Emily's face, because she's the sunshine. <laughs> well, you know, Patrick, maybe she could be your sunshine. <laughs> Damn, Sean, you are so strong. Plain vanilla abuse. If Dorothy were sunshine. Oh! Oh! I keep on forgetting that they're fucking speaking with third person, so he's Ryan and she's Dorothy. Ah, poor Sean. Maybe you guys can kind of slip over. Well, I mean, it's fine if Sean gets dirty, you know? Oh, just don't stand in front of it. Maybe? Well, I mean, now you guys all sitting down, time to relax. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just switched the topic. Oh, so it's the rabbit. <laughs> Damn, dude. Like I said, man, Emboliko's a puzzle master. And of course, John is out here waiting for for Sean. No, no, he did that to himself. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I heard a Genki and I had to- <laughs> If they're hideous, what's the point of putting them there? Right? 
<laughs> they just ignored her. <laughs> oh! It's fucking John! <laughs> How did they miss each other? How did Emiliko and John miss each other climbing that folly? John is so proud. He says, covered in suit. <laughs> like I said, she is a puzzle master. <laughs> he made a declaration. Oh, poor John. <sighs> I like how different uh, suit emanates from different shadows. Like you could see in John, he emanates kind of like low, low dots, you know, low, <laughs> low, uh, low lines of like suit kind of goes out like all in all directions while Kate's is just like in a single line when she creates suit. And I remember Patrick's is like a little bit more of like an area, like he creates like an area of suit when he, when he was stressed during the uh, they did during the debut. So I thought it's really cool, and you know, to each character have a different way of emanating suit. Yeah, don't feel blue. Have an orange. John fell for what's inside of Kate. <laughs> Totes. Maybe, yes. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing you got a fucking cart full of flowers. I don't know why though, the the way Emily Cole's face was drawn in that scene kind of reminded me of Clara <laughs> from Iruma-kun. Wow. Damn, Rum. <laughs> yes, you are covered in suit. Oh, wow, dude. Rum's a genius! <laughs> Thanks, John.
I like it. Yeah. You gotta fucking help your master, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right? Character development. <laughs> oh, they touch hands. Oh! No, rum, you can't look like that. Why is there why is there strings all over you, Shirley? What is <laughs> Oh you can't look like that, Rum? Sean be over here like, alright, we will all make it through the debut, alright? And Rum's just like Are they actually giving me lyrics for the ending? It's been like six episodes. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> All right, back to the center. My God, what happened here? <laughs> I think my hair has finally, yeah, it's finally died down. <laughs> it's like, all right, all the power, it's gone now. <laughs> All right, so that was episode seven of Shadow's House. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a good complimentary episode to the previous one and to, you know, this multi-episode arc. We learned a lot of things. We had a few name drops of some of the uh, third floor lord, like Ryan and Dorothy. And then there's also the maid, or I don't know, she looks like a fucking maid, the shadow. Her name is Eileen. And so, yeah, we had a few name drops for them, so that was pretty nice. But uh, overall, again, a, a very enjoyable episode. But back to the beginning, we saw that the third floor lords had sent a message over to Edward. What message that is? I don't know, I, I can't freaking read the letters. <laughs> And even if it wasn't Japanese and it wasn't translated, I still couldn't read it anyways. But we saw Lou and pfft, Lou and Ricky tra traversing through the, the maze, which is just really just Lou cutting through everything. And as I had, fi as I had uh, figured, she ends up falling down a hole or just falling down this, uh, she didn't fall down all the way, but she did end up falling down this hole, uh, falling down this uh, drop, but she caught herself and she climbs back up to which she had gone and asked, Ricky, is my face damaged? That's, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, we, I need to know if my face has been harmed or not, because we can't have that. What if she finds Loon? She has, da she, she has a damaged face. But with Lou, she doesn't really, I would say, think much. She doesn't really have too much feelings. So the boundaries of personal space, she doesn't have that either. So she, she she's really out here on top of Ricky and being like, yo, how's my face? You all right, let me get super close to you. And I don't know, maybe Ricky caught a little bit of a feel for, for Lou. We'll, we'll just have to find out. I love Ricky, man. He, he saw Lou drops and he's like, well, I guess uh, she's out of the picture now. I'm gonna go take her shears. And it went from that to, oh, I'm sorry, I took your shears. Please don't give me a buzz cut. <laughs> what a guy, dude. Again, man, Lou is leading him by the leash. <laughs> in the next scene, we see Patrick in his crate, but I, I assume he's not really emanating any suit. And, and even if he is, he's not emanating enough to where it could break him out of the crate. And even if it could, he would have just been covered in suit anyways, like John. But he encounters Emiliko, and despite him constantly yelling at her and telling her to go away and all that, she doesn't really uh, take offense to it or anything. She's just kind of like, hey, you know, I'm just trying to help you out. I know that nobody wants to be alone in a situation like this, but Patrick convince her that it should be Ricky who saves him because if you're going to uh, break him out of this crate, you're essentially stealing Ricky's job. So, you know, leave me alone. I need to be in this crate for Ricky whenever he comes here, that little fucker. 
But before Emilico leaves, she leaves Patrick a few gifts, like the oranges, which I still find it funny that she opens it and then she just drops it in one by one. And I just imagine falling on his face as he's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, what the, what, what is this? <laughs> And she ends up giving him a nice little flower for him to look at so, you know, maybe he wouldn't be as stressed as he is inside that box. And we had a nice little scene of just Emiliko giving uh, giving him uh, giving him a little hug on the box. So I thought that was really nice for Patrick anyways. He's uh, he got a little comfort in that time of stress for him. So good for him. <laughs> then after that, Emiliko and Rum catches up with Sean and they start looking at their map and devising a plan of what to do as they traversed with each other. They figured out a puzzle that opened up the gate so they didn't have to go through the long way and then they ended up at this forest or at least they they found the spot where John was. <laughs> But John left off somewhere, they followed his footprint into this dark, dank forest and eventually they do end up fighting him there at the, uh, at the decor, the decor. And with all the four of them together, they start talking and sharing information of who's who and where's where. John tells Emiliko where Kate is, plus what kind of situation she's in and also because he decided to wander, he walked over the bridge that would have given easy access to where Kate was and ended up uh, collapsing the bridge. <laughs> good for him, you know? Good, good, good for him. He's just made things a little bit more complicated. But uh, at least Emiliko now knows where Kate is and perhaps we will see her rescue Kate in the next episode. Who knows? Again, if if Kate got the hops, she could just jump straight into the uh, into the cart where it's just a bunch of flowers. We saw John had a little freak out as he regretted what he said to Kate, <laughs> which is just fantastic. You know, he's like, I was so nervous, I just blurted out saying that I was going to take her hand in marriage, that I was going to be king of the Shadow House. <laughs> Oh my god. The other thing that we learn is that Rum is quite smart. She's, uh, uh, her cognitive ability very high up there. She memorized the entire map already, so she doesn't even need the map anymore. And she remembers the time of when uh, the suit started and how long it took them to get to where they are, which, you know, I think she said they have about 50 minutes left. Since she memorized the map, she ends up giving it over to Sean and John, or well, John and Sean, because the map that John has is covered in suit, but there's this one spot that isn't covered in suit. So, you know, there's an assumption that maybe there's something there if that spot specifically isn't covered in suit. So now John and Sean are going to travel to that place and they are leaving behind Rum and Emiliko as they have to go and save their master. We have Sean over here saying, Let's have all three of us go through the debut together, you know, finish the finish the debut together. <laughs> and again, man, Rum is just giving that look of just like, I don't know about that, fam. I don't know about that. <laughs> Rum, you need to stop making me so sad <laughs> every time I look at Rum, man. <laughs> then we have that shot of Shirley wherever she is. I, uh, she looks like she's just sitting comfortably in a chair, but she, ha she has all these strings attached to her. <laughs> At first I thought there were all these medical tubings to which I'm just like, what, what are they doing? Just shoving all those tubes into her. Maybe it's a trap, you know? Maybe if she moves, it'll trigger something and it'll ruin her dress. Who knows? But we will have to find that out in the next episode. So if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next video.